gonna take you for a little bit of a walk to uh, see the view down at the sea. So it's opened up quite a bit. I just had a walk down there and it looks pretty incredible because you can see right out to the mountain ranges in the distance. Um, I think it's the Cullen Range on the Isle of Skye, I think. But yeah, hopefully you guys are gonna be able to see it. We'll see if the camera makes it out. Um, but yeah, everything's good with the setup. Uh, no more rain since this morning, so everything's dried off and we've just been taking it easy, still just doing camp chores, making more coffee, and keeping the fire going, collecting some firewood. And yeah, we're just really enjoying it. It's just beautiful and very peaceful and relaxed, which is so, so, so nice for the soul. So yeah, let's take a little walk and take you through the woods down to the seaside, see what we can see. That's what we can see. It's just not quite as clear as it was a second ago, but this lens isn't doing it justice. If you look out this way, it's just incredible. It's like nothing I've ever seen, to be honest. It's absolutely incredible. Look at that. Look at that mountain range. They're huge out there as well, straight out of the sea. It's just, it's just insane. I'm really sorry this lens isn't doing it justice, but you take my word for it. It's unbelievable. So rugged and beautiful out here a very wild area. Wow. It's lunchtime. We've got some crispy potato discs. I don't know what you call these, like wedge Slices. Yeah, slices. And some onion. And we're going to go with some vegan hot dog swirl Viennese well, I'm not really sure what they're called. Sausages. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> they don't call them that. No, on the they're packet, called though, Italian they? style twirls, I think. Yeah. But they are basically just vegetarian sausages. Um, With eggs. Yeah. Yeah. I think these are good. Ready? Mm -hmm. Let's eat. Which course is this now, Megs? Uh, two? Main course. Yeah. Got more potato wedges and the sausage whirls that I was talking about earlier. Um, we just had an entree of potato wedges and they were so good we decided to put the rest. Um, and then we might have some eggs and onion. It's really tasty, really tasty. Meg's is almost finished hers already.
Ta-da! So there's plenty of fallen wood in this forest, all over the place. So we're not taking anything that's alive whatsoever, just dead stuff. And this one had fallen and was at a nice angle and it's lovely and dry. What do we see? It's beauty. So yeah, we'll split that. Although there is a knot, so it's gonna be a bit of a ball ache, but if we need any more big chunks, which we probably won't, then there's the rest of this. Spoon's coming along. Started it yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, I think it was yesterday. Yeah. It's got a pretty nice shape to it now. I mean, it is actually a spoon at this point, like a functional spoon. Just yeah. Needs more, much more bowling out. The rest, I'm quite happy with. That's yeah. Coming along. All I've been whittling it with is my Benchmade Bushcrafter. That's literally what I've been using. So, feel the heat on my leg. Yeah. So yeah, I've just been using this, which I've found great in the hand. Beautiful evening though, the sun's coming through. Yeah, it's lovely. Sun's coming through the trees. We just got a bit more wood. Megs was cutting up some pieces as well. So I think we've got enough for the rest of tonight. Tonight's our last night. Sadly, I'm gonna have to hike out tomorrow morning early for a long, long drive. But uh, it's been a really nice time. I've enjoyed it a lot. Yeah. I feel so peaceful and relaxed in myself. My goodness, is, uh, is Scotland a beautiful place? And this part of the Northwest Coast, but pretty much most of the Northwest Coast is just incredible. Northwest Coast of the Highlands my favorite place it's, it's amazing it's just amazing it's really a beautiful area of, of relative wilderness for Western Europe and mm. you can really get away from everything completely yeah it's got an emotional feel to it as well the land here the landscapes and the scenery it's so overwhelming like you, you can drag in and just feel every emotion all at once for no not for no reason but like just not being able to attach like why you're feeling suddenly so sad but excited and melancholic all at once and it's very I yeah know, i don't know what that and until you come and feel it it's hard to describe if you haven't it. been to the highlands you gotta come it's just an incredible place it's just an incredible place Well, that's the update for now. Lunch was good. We basically had two lunches. <sighs> Pretty delicious. Hang hammock setup still been working perfectly. It's figuring it out exactly how to get the lay nice and flat. And for sure, I'll be getting an underquilt. I think we're both yeah. going to get underquilts for the hammock because using it with... So we've got air mattresses in there, therm arrests that we normally use, the uh, Neo Air X therms which are great for ground sleeping, brilliant. Um, but in the hammock, it just, it, it's okay, you stay warm enough, but it's not as comfy. You can feel how much more comfortable you'll be if you can lie directly in the hammock and then have an underquilt keeping you warm so you can just be find the position you wanna, you wanna be. Yeah, you don't have to, because this, you, you gotta be on the air mat the whole time and you, you naturally have bits that slide off and then that builds up a cold spot where you're touching the outside. So I'd say the, an underquilt's the way to go. But yeah, the tops and hammocks have been fine. I mean, the tops haven't really had to put up with much. There's there was a little bit of rain. rain this morning. But yeah. Not much wind. Very Not comfortable. Rain. I'm really into hammock camping already. First time and I'm like, I like it. Yeah. Oh, wood, 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 wood. That's my wood dots. Wood, 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 w
I'm gonna make more coffee, people. It's time to make dinner. Our, um, our final night's dinner, so Megs has very kindly been chopping up veg. So far she's done avocado, pepper, cheese, onions. I've got some vegetarian chicken pieces with onions in the pan. We're gonna get that on this bed of coals and start cooking it up. And then we've got little uh, tacos, little soft tacos. They're kind of almost like mini fajitas, like little tortillas. Um, so I'm gonna cook up the chicken in some spice. And then we're gonna add, like, like you normally would, whatever you want at the end, the chicken, the onions, bits and pieces of veg. We've got some like, yeah, we've got some, a little bit of sour cream topping and some chipotle sauce as well. I'm gonna fry up some eggs too. So that's the plan. Let's do this. Food's ready to go. That's the vegetarian chicken. See if you can see. Vegetarian chicken by the vegetarian butcher. Their stuff's really good. Uh, onions. Gonna do some eggs in a minute. But we're gonna have the first wrap with all the bits and pieces that we want. First round's finished, now we've got eggs cooking. Eggs, eggs. Look, it's like a giant pan sized <laughs> egg. Holy oh, shit. It's, uh, eggs gone wild. Be able to see it on the camera, particularly not in this one. You can see the colour and ridge, ridge from here. That's, that's what we were looking at. It's absolutely breathtaking. It just climbs up out of the sea. It looks like a cardboard cutout that someone stuck in the distance, doesn't it? Mm. And it's like a fake set. So tonight's our last night. We're going to have to get up really early tomorrow morning to hike back to the car and drive all the way back down to Brighton. So it's going to be a really long, long day. Um, so it's pretty much the end of everything in this adventure. We're gonna walk back. We've started already clearing up the camp, breaking everything down. We'll leave it so that it looks like, as always, you know, we're, we're always very careful when we leave things. We want it to be exactly the way we found it. So it's pretty much that way already. The last bit of the fire's burning down. Um, let the stones from the fire pit cool and uh, disperse those tomorrow morning and break down the hammocks and the tarps in the morning. It's supposed to be a little bit of rain tonight, We'll leave the tops up over the hammocks. I was just drizzling a second ago. It's been incredible though, right? Yeah, it's been... I'll take the camera and let mix. It's been wonderful. It's been so relaxing and so calming. The entire trip has been... exactly what I wanted it to be. It's so important to spend time out in nature and spend time away from cities and just reconnect with yourself and the woods and surroundings and everything has just been really cool. We've done a bunch of things for the first time, whittling for the first time, starting a fire with nothing but wood and a ferro rod and sleeping in hammocks and under tarps. It's been a wonderful adventure for first times but it hasn't felt stressful or... It's really dark and <laughs> Um, so 
so yeah, like Ben said, this is this is the end of our, our first bushcrafting trip together and our first bushcrafting trip on outdoor entry. Um, gonna get everything packed up tomorrow morning and this evening and head back home. So I guess this is the end of this adventure and we'll see you on the next one. So there's a little bit of snow up there. Just a little sprinkle of white on the on the ridge. Well I guess if it's like one degree down here, it's actually gonna be below freezing up there.